This video is rated M for Mature. Viewer discretion is heavily advised. Welcome to a right. military database. Oh, we're here. Classified information requested. It's top secret, can't look at it. Well, we're military, so... Okay. Oh yeah, welcome to Mass Effect, one of my personal favorite franchises. I'm also at least a little bit familiar with this game, so... Yeah, so, I've played through this game a bunch, so I got a bunch of bonuses on my account, whatever. Call it cheating, if you will, I call it being good. Right. Besides, this game is kind of tedious. This first one, anyway. But we want to go through the whole series. Really get the feeling going. So Looks we're gonna like create a new character. Be the start of that. And, uh, okay, uh, real quick, Devin. Yeah. Should we? Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be us as a person. We can be whoever. So should we be a guy or a girl? I'd like to be a guy. All right. Male. All right. All right. Uh, what do we call him though? That's the real no. question. No. Okay. So. I actually who have we, here... Who, who did we make last time? We, there wasn't a last time, Devin. Oh, right, of course not. No, there was no last time. There's no last time and no regrets over lost jokes. No, of course not. Okay, so I'm going to get a name generator up. A name gem generator. Hmm. And we will attempt to make a shepherd around that name. Ooh, that's a good idea. Or, I mean, so, I hope it's a good idea. So, we're going to first name only, masculine. Okay. And we will choose from African. Uh, let's put some Danish. Let's try to, let's try to make it. Give us French, as much. Uh... German. Yeah. Irish. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Let's get one more in there. Yeah, so what do you th what do you think? Um, one more language. Try. Oh boy. Suppose we could. What do we not have represented so far? Mm -hmm. Well, we've got Africa. We've got. Maybe we can cut Danish off. Okay. Maybe we can have English, German, Irish, and uh, should we get an Asian name in there? Well, I, I don't feel comfortable in my ability to make an Asian-looking okay. uh, character. All right, in that case, let's go... Hey, let's go Norwegian. Uh, where is it? It's uh, right there. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. Okay. So, yeah, mostly what? Uh, mostly just European. We're sorry. I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, and let's avoid rare names, avoid diminutives. All right. And generate name. We are Christian. All right. So I is that guess. An English name? I or... guess that's an English name. I'd have to guess. All right. So right off the bat, what we should do is avoid yellow hair. Okay. We don't want to look stereotypically like a Christian. Yeah. So, the uh, name, not the religion. Yeah. So uh, let's see. What what kind of what look? Well, let's get into the looks. Please log in to access your profile. Christian Shepherd. Okay. So we're probably gonna cut. Well, we're probably gonna cut once we get to the character customization, and then fast forward. Yeah. So you don't have to sit through the tedium. Yeah. That's a so cool. uh, yeah, we're just gonna stop talking here. Or well, we won't stop talking, but you won't hear it. Okay. I've never seen a Christian before, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm glad we're fast forwarding because you are saying some awkward things. Yeah, a bit, but uh, as I've never met somebody named Christian before, so yeah, let's let's, let's try to avoid stereotypical. Yeah. Confirm uh, Okay, so uh, I okay, I forget what are these colonists? The spacer. That spacer is basically your basic, like, we grew up on a spaceship background. Colonist is... Our childhood was fucked. I'm so glad we're in an M-rated game. I can just say that whenever oh, yeah, I go want. Ahead, go ahead. Not this, is fa this is being fast-forwarded. <laughs> Whatever. But, but, uh... And Earthborn is we, we grew up in the streets. 
Okay. So, Christian Shepherd would be... I don't know. I feel like colonists, personally. Let's uh, go with the we got kidnapped by slavers backstory. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Or we didn't get kidnapped by slavers. They just murdered everyone we ever knew or cared about. Okay. Confirm silence. All right, now here's the part where we get to decide military background, and this is where we can fuck up our character even more. Because right. like you got ruthless. Like, cold, calculating, brutal background. You got War Hero, where we faced impossible odds to save the day. Or you got Soul Survivor, where we lost everyone precious to us again. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just Soul double down. Yeah, Soul let's Survivor. Just, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just <laughs> double down on the trauma. <laughs> this is this part isn't getting cut, by no, the way. okay. Yeah, I decided. Yeah. So yeah, we're doubling down on Shepard's trauma. Do it. Confirm military And Vanguard, because Vanguard is the best, and I will fight literally anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you handle that. Confirm oh wait, is it? Military yeah, it's Vanguard. And since I cleared the game, we get a bonus talent. So do you want assault rifles, snipers, electronics, decryption, or first aid? Oh. See, it's been a while. Because, um, like, electronics gives us more shields. What, what goes well with Vanguard, do you think? Uh, Vanguard uses barriers. Electronics gives us more shields. Decryption lets us open more secure uh, boxes. First aid lets us heal more. Uh, let's see. And assault rifles and sniper rifles speak for themselves. Yeah, I, I figured that They're out. They're other guns. So, like, I guess... Uh, like, I usually, whenever I do playthroughs of this, I usually go for assault rifles because, you know, you got other characters with good first aid stats. Mm -hmm. Like, the characters I usually pick tend to have good first aid stats, so you don't really need to cover for them. Because everyone's first aid stats stacks together to decide how much you get healed from first aid. So, I suppose electronics could be good, unless you... Like, electronics gives us more shields. Decryption lets us, well, open up bigger crates. But assault rifles gives us a good mid-range weapon. You think, are you thinking assault rifles? I'm thinking assault rifles. All right, we're here. We finished, and here's our character. Yeah, Christian Shepard. The uh, colonist soul survivor vanguard. Yeah. Oh, this guy's got tons of trauma in his backstory. Yes, let's let us proceed. With... Identification confirmed. So uh, yeah. I think we want subtitles, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is Squad power usage? Using uh, their power. You can decide on that. I'll leave them to use their defensive skills. I can handle all their other skills. Okay. And so, yeah, and I'll probably be doing some side quests off screen. Oh, uh, you do that. Because there's a lot of them. Go ahead. That'll be on your time. Yeah, so <laughs> when we're not recording, I'll be doing side quests. Okay. Nice loading screen. Actually, I seem to remember there's some texture load problems in this game. Like, textures will load in slow. Oh. We should be quiet. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. Hi, Keith David. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. <laughs> that's saying, that's putting it lightly. That's putting it very lightly. Uh-huh. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. We are super scarred. Uh, well, I kind of already know the story, so. Yeah. That's for if anybody wants to read it themselves. Okay, then. Like, problems with the series aside, I genuinely love it. Still got that big spot. Oh, well, it's a storm. Yeah. Eric Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiate yeah, see what I mean by texture load? Uh-huh. <laughs> Neptune or Uranus. Eh. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. 
I'm pretty sure the texture load problems get fixed by the time we hit two. I kind of like the texture load problems. All stations secure for transit. There he is. Paragon run through. Call me boring. Well, I, if if only I was Thrusters, behind the wheel. Check. I mean, not that I'm like a full renegade check. or anything, but Internal I, I tend to be engaged. a little more on the neutral side. All systems online. Drift. Just under. Yeah, it's because I'm a wuss who can't hurt or bring himself to hurt people. Good. Your captain will be pleased. I can't bring myself to I hurt people. I say as I'm going to be gunning down thousands. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you contextualize. So you hate him. Yeah, context, context. Yeah. I don't Remember like zip hurting up the on the way out of the bathroom. That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target. The, the lines of pin. ones and That's O's incredible. controlling Besides, polygonal models. I don't care. I don't like about. having them on board. They don't have characterization. Paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund yeah, this you're project. Paranoid. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story, but only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, I didn't they don't send it, specters though. on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just oh, cleared right, the mass Joker. relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Yeah, type on those holograms. Find a com buoy and link us into the network. Burn that noise. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh, yes, He sounds of angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. All right. Here we go. So, yeah. Here we are. Let's just do a little jog around the ship. Oh my, Shepard! And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. How much? Uh, how much are we gonna talk to the NPCs? A lot. A lot. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Well... You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Well, um, you know... You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. Like my bold face, just I'm a racist. Orc. It runs in my family. Turians hit us. Well, you know. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. Oh, the delicious irony <laughs> of <laughs> like human this military, white, uh, this old white dude. Like the rest of us. Talking Spectres to a black guy about how he feels change. nervous about the alien. They on don't board. come along just to observe shakedown runs. Like this couldn't be more fitting <laughs> if we had tried. Like <laughs> I don't like it. I didn't even intend for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, same, Christian. Same. Yep. Uh, Do you have a problem yeah. with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what noise. he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his metals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. That's a lot of metals. Don't send yeah. a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. All right, so... Uh, and we got one more thing one to look more. into. The what do you know about systems. the stealth systems? I well, just know you ask about the it masks system? our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. 
and Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Well, you're really suspicious Plus, about a lot of things, aren't you? It's pretty <laughs> obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For I what? bet this guy's like Can't that all the no time, you know? <laughs> We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Yeah, I get the feeling he's got an entire wall in his quarters just dedicated to a conspiracy <laughs> net. I'll see if I can get some answers like, oh, when I see him. That's just Captain Good luck, Commander. What's his face? To always talk about how he th yep. thinks there's some conspiracy behind Na everything. Yeah, he's a navigator. Uh, navigator, yeah. Navigator Presley. Navigator Presley. Memorize him because he's sure to become very relevant. Oh, look. Isn't telling us about this mission. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope oh, you you're kidding, action, huh? Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Those green eyes Sorry, really pop. Mm -hmm. This waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally we well respected by the Yeah, we're getting it now. <laughs> Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Shepherd Only what I've heard. He likes to ask questions, Spectre doesn't he? Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Christian Council. Shepherd likes to know what he's dealing groups. with. Indeed. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, yep. forced to survive <laughs> unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Oh, no. Just Jenkins. Spectres sound dangerous. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I. I didn't mean to offend you. I I respect what you did there. We all do. Bring Jenkins just well passed. He literally just oh. did. Is there something else you needed? Don't you know never to bring up someone's You're tragic past? Aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's no got to be danger. something okay. else going on. Mm. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. Corporal Jenkins this is my wants to chance. prove himself. To Damn it, Jenkins! <laughs> You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. <laughs> He's not going to screw the it up. The captain's waiting for me. Don't worry Goodbye, about him. Corporal Jenkins. He wants to prove himself. Wants to prove he's not a screw up. Hello, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Yes, I have heard it is a paradise. They say it's a paradise. A it's boring paradise. A paradise. paradise. But... Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Why are you dropping your all this exposition on Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? 
I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. You know, I never notice how thematically appropriate it is that we have the same eye color as Nihilus right now. Oh, yeah. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. Another We're making thing that a was unintentional, pickle, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. We swear. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. I haven't played this, this game in months. Come on. Yeah. Information strictly on and the need to know. Probably places. I have played it in even less time. A research time. team on Eden Prime. Unearthed I mean, some kind of beacon longer. during an excavation. Or I don't know. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Exposition! <laughs> Boy, the relays, the really... citadel, our ship drives. It's all Excuse us if we're not being very technology. talkative, it's just this is big we haven't gotten into the action. The last time yet. humanity yeah. made a discovery like this, we're still it winding our up. technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Boy, citadel for proper Exposition study. is one of those things that's Obviously, like you, this you, goes you beyond mere human but interest. It's also, commander. when you notice this it, it's really can annoying. Every species in council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the so Citadel did, uh, Coast. The Spectres represent uh, the Council's power and the When did humanity become part of the whole... Um, if they accept a human into their ranks... Well, this oh, is like in the 2100s. Okay. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live. Not when will people stop time. bringing up Akuz? That's why I put your name forward as a candidate <laughs> for the like, Spectres. Stop bringing that up! Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Okay, so the Spectres are, are like an elite uh, group. Basically, an entire organization of James seek. Bond. I don't okay. care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Above the law and with a license to kill. Hmm. I assume well, this, this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. Bond's above We're the law, counting. right? I think so. He has a license. I need to, to see your skills for I mean, myself, Commander. That's yeah. Eden sounds Prime like, be the that first sounds pretty above the law. But like, he You'll can do whatever he wants in his investigation the as long and get as it onto the ship results. Now is uh, the company you to observe the mission. I mean, I'm not. I, I, I haven't. Sounds, I haven't watched very many James Bond movies. No, I'll admit. I, I, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, we don't need more exposition. Just give the okay. word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. That was a lot of exposition. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh no, everything went wrong. Uh-oh. Get down! Well, this isn't good. At least it has an excuse for being shaky because it's someone's helmet cam. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. Or something. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Why was he talking into that other guy's helmet? <laughs> Why are you shouting at me? Why isn't that guy shooting? Wow, there's still, like, all. that little just goes dead. flaky stuff. Static? Static, yeah. Static is still exists, even in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just... I really like the various Status facial support. expressions you can actually get out of aliens. Minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance uh -huh. ships in the area. Like, I notice sometimes when Turians are nervous, they do that little this thing with their mandibles. Mm. Did you notice what Nihilus did? Small strike team can move quickly like, his mandibles twitch. Attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay, I'll go in. It's my tragic backstory. 